We are, our last video turned out so well that we recorded together, so we wanted to do another one for you guys. Um, and we're going to be talking about how to, with puppy included, this is Leo, say hi. Hi guys. Um, we're going to show you guys how to do a, um, a DIY first aid kit. And this is not my area of expertise. Uh, <laughs> this is totally Hannah's uh, area of expertise, especially with a kiddo that um, has cuts, scrapes, bruises, all kinds of stuff, um, including, well, I'm actually a clumsy person. I should really have my DIY first aid kit on me at all times. Um, but we're going to walk you through basically what we've got in our kit and what we would recommend you guys have in your <coughs> first aid kit. Okay, so the first thing <clears throat> that goes with me everywhere I go, I don't always have the whole first aid kit, but I always have my little keychains of oils. So you can get these keychains in your back office or in your order um, platform. And it comes with eight little vials that you can fill with whatever oils that you want. So I, um, I have one or two of these full at all times of my favorite oils. So this one has most of the top 10, um, because as you know, the top 10 is a top 10 for a reason. So they come in very handy. And then you can always have the undiluted oils with you wherever you go. Or you can even pre-dilute them if you want to, if you want to use them topically. Um, so you can have those ready wherever, wherever you are. And they're very handy to carry that way. So I have one of those in there. And then what else we have in here is um, we've got a, our Correct X blend. So Correct X is a, um, it's like an ointment. So I call it like my little polysporin. And um, this one has ingredients of... You've got frankincense, helichrysum, cedar wood, tea tree or melaleuca, um, and lavender. And I use this for everything. I have one beside my bed. I have one in my purse. Um, I use it on my cuticles. I also love to use it on my lips when I get dry lips in the winter months. I tend to crack along the side here or right down the center, which is really icky and is painful. So I love using Correct X for that. So that's in there. What else we got? Um, I use that for cuts and scrapes too. Um, when Jack gets sores on his face, um, or any cuts, paper cuts, or any kind of scratches on your knuckles, anything like that, it's perfect for that. So we use a lot of Correct X. Um, my favorite, Deep Blue, Deep Blue Rub. So this is nice and handy. You can buy a little box. It comes with 10 samples. I think they're about $5. Very well worth having um, to travel with because then you don't have to carry the big tube of cream. So this is fantastic for those um, sore um, muscle aches. If you're driving and you have some tension in your shoulders and your neck, um, I have actually used this for headaches as well um, because it, it's a little bit stronger for me, so I like to use that. Um, but if you're going to the gym or anything like that, or you're, um, I have a kid in running club, so he goes running, so if he's ever got any sores or whatever, I can use this. Good one. Um, we also have two favorites of mine. Uh, we have the cough drops. So there are two little drops. Um, this one here, the blue one, is the Breathe or Easy Air um, Cough Drop. So this is really great for, for any respiratory issues. Um, I love this one for when I am experience any congestion. It helps to clear the airways. Um, it doesn't have eucalyptus in it, so a lot of people are worried because Breathe, you cannot consume. Um, but the Breathe Drops, you can because they don't have eucalyptus in them. Uh, but they have very similar blends. You've got your peppermint in there. You've got your cardamom. All essential oils that really help to open the airways and then you have the on guard ones and these are phenomenal uh, they're sweetened with sugar cane so they're, they're a natural sweetener um, you don't really have to worry about any of the sugar boosts from any of those um, typical cough drops um, but it also has the on guard essential oils in it you've got Melissa in it uh, you have all the essential oils that help to boost immunity I keep these with me all the time in my little purse um, and I love them if I'm, ex if I'm around somebody who's sick, I can pop a throat lozenge, helps to really get into your system and um, boost your immunity really, really easily. Yummy. That and the next thing, um, the On Guard beadlets. I have them with me all the time as well. Anytime I'm feeling a sore throat coming on, I used to get a lot of throat infections. Not anymore. Um, because as soon as I feel it coming on, I'll either pop an On Guard beadlet or the On Guard drops. But these are the beadlets and they are literally... Let me try to kind of show you here. If I can get one out. They're just tiny, tiny little ball. It has one third of a drop of essential oil, so it's not very um, um, potent that way, but they're very strong taste-wise because um, they do taste like On Guard. 
but I pop this in my mouth anytime I fly or um, I've been to the ER in the waiting room and you know there's all kinds of nasties there. Um, anything like that, like I said earlier, uh, sore throat. Um, but even um, Brittany had mentioned earlier, she uses them when she doesn't have any uh, hand sanitizer and she'll just pop one in her hand. So that was a great idea that I never thought of. But these are nice and handy to have. And I think they're, does it say how many are in here? 150? 125. 125. So it'll last you a long time. Yeah. They're really good too, if you, especially if you don't have, um, I love peppermint after I, I eat a big meal or after a meal and I've had a lot of onion or garlic, I'll usually put a drop of peppermint in my mouth. But I don't always have peppermint. So I love having my On Guard beadlets because clove, which is a main ingredient in On Guard, really helps to combat um, that garlic stinky breath. Um, and then we have helichrysum. And this might seem like a really weird oil to put in a first aid kit, um, but I'll give you a few reasons why. It, I will let you know it is a more expensive oil. I call this my treat oil or the oil I usually will purchase with my shipping points or my free points I get from goodies um, because it is more expensive. But it's a, a phenomenal oil for any injuries. And the reason being is because it actually helps to um, clot. So it's a clotter. I've actually used it on a, um, I know it sounds silly, but a paper cut that wouldn't stop bleeding. Um, I put a drop right by itself of hel uh, helichrysum right on it. Uh, and it helps to clot the, the or stop the bleeding. Um, it's really great if you are experiencing um, like a, something maybe infected. You have, a, you have a toe infection or you have a, a toe nail, something's happening with your toenail, um, a hangnail, or uh, even sore muscles or joints, and you don't necessarily have your deep blue on hand. Helichrysum is fantastic for that. And the last thing in our bag <clears throat> is the little ouch roller um, that we talked about earlier. And I carry this with me everywhere. It's got frankincense, melaleuca, and lavender. So it is fantastic for um, any kinds of cuts, scrapes, scratches, um, just even if you just have skin irritation. I've been out and, and clearly gotten into something and don't know what, but it's really itchy and irritated, and I will just put that on, and within a couple minutes, it is not bothering me anymore. Uh, but this is a must-have, especially with kids to carry with you at all so times. Good. Uh, and that's kind of the end of our first aid kit, but I did want to tell you guys, um, I like all things pretty, um, <laughs> and so obviously my first aid kit has to be pretty. Um, you can find all kinds of different things, uh, different bags and all kinds of different locations. Um, I find a lot of them from chapters. You can buy them from chapters on sale. Uh, this is from Staples, the brand called Poppin, which I really like. Um, or any of your, just your favorite little makeup bags that you find places. They're really, really handy to, um, I've got hair floating around, to keep all of your, your favorite oils in. But I hope you guys found this helpful. If you, uh, if you make yourself up a first aid kit or want to make yourself a first aid kit, let us know what you put in it because you might give us some wicked ideas, some, some things we haven't necessarily tried. Post pictures. Yeah, <laughs> share pictures with us. Have a great day, guys. Bye.